Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics. Sorgatron.com is the blog, video blog, where I put these things and my thoughts and all, everything else going on. Sorgatronmedia.com for all the other shows. Three shows, including this, going up this morning. Fishing Without Bait, awesome chat, really good stuff. And I want to talk to you about Mr. No Days Off. Mr. No Days Off, at least the idea of it. <laughs> you know, the idea, it's a good idea, right? Um... The, and and where do I get that phrase? Actually, I get that phrase from a, a one uh, Darren Young uh, in WWE uh, until last week in a, a, a recent uh, tag team champion there. He's been at the company for uh, a good while, actually, since the first initial NXT. I'm not getting into wrestling history here, but anyways, uh, it, him and I think I think a little bit. I think it's mostly him that always used to do this. I don't he- see this as much on Twitter, but uh, they they always have the you know, they always had the phrase, they always say, hey, Mr. No Days Off, you know, we're always grinding, we're always working at it. And you kind of need to if you're on a WWE schedule, for sure. But uh, I think that also applies to uh, professionals sometimes, too. You know, maybe, hey, maybe your job really kind of requires you to be seven days a week. Maybe you, maybe whatever the case may be. Um, and uh, how many times I say, man, yeah, I can't take a day off. I, I, I kind of need to make sure I get stuff done or clients or anything like that. But that's kind of, that goes with the territory. And so as, as many of you know, I, I am kind of self-employed. I'm doing my own work. I'm building my own little media empire over here. And, uh, you know, and, hey, that's a perception thing. It's going to be a huge media empire. We're growing. We're actually having a meeting today. I'm hoping we're going to grow into a new opportunity. Uh, we're talking to new people about doing new projects. It's actually really exciting right now, some of the stuff that's coming up. Uh, and I'm really looking looking forward to to kind of the future of what we're doing here with Sorgatron Media and or whatever it might be called soon. Uh, but anyways, and uh, I woke up this morning and as usual, you know, it's like, all right, what we got to get to today? And then realizing, oh, Oh, I don't feel too good. I don't feel. I, I I feel a little off. I feel a little under the weather. I was feeling a little, a little ragged actually before I went to bed last night. Even though I completely just worked through it until like about twelve thirty mm-hmm. at night. Uh, I I just I just couldn't stop. I had some good ideas and I wanted to get them out. Um, and, and mostly worked uh, yesterday. I jeez, other than lunch. Uh, lunch and a little bit of dinner. I really kind of worked through since getting up, and that's from being up until three a.m. the 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 night before. And I think I let myself sleep in until about eight o'clock. You know, maybe nine. Maybe I did nine that that morning. But um, but even this morning, uh, you know, I, you really can't take a day off. Uh, I've had events the last three weekends. I got I got no events this weekend, though. I'm really kind of. Not considering taking a day off, or I, I, I probably should take Sunday off or something like that for my own kind of mental health. And I think you do, you do definitely need to take care of yourself to a point. So I'm not preaching the get less sleep that Gary Vaynerchuk does. I, I'm not preaching any of that stuff. But you have to at least touch base with the work that you that you have to do. Uh, and I don't know, this could be different for everybody. But the way that my stuff has been built in. Um, I, if I take a day off, then I'm, I, all those projects slide off, you know, uh, back when I had the day job, I remember, I remember how guilty I was made to feel when I took a day off and I remember how I absolutely hated that. Then I realized how much worse I am on myself. I often say to people that, yeah, my boss is really, is really a dick, um, because it is just me and I won't let myself uh, sit back on that. Uh, I actually, <laughs> as an attempt to give myself permission, maybe to take the morning off and just sleep in and let myself, you know, whatever's going on with me just kind of pass. Um, I actually text my wife and say, Hey boss, I'm thinking about taking the morning off, not feeling too hot. And I text her about five minutes later after I realized I need to get up anyways and let the dog out and do all that stuff. And it's like, never mind. My other boss says I got to work today. And that's the boss in my head. So, Mr. No Days Off. Um, <laughs> so, I, I think, I think you know, and again, you know, a lot of stuff that I do, and I, and I often wonder how this works for other people that do have very vital things. You know, um, you know, I think about those wrestlers. A lot of, this was always a hang-up for me. I always thought, 
younger that I wouldn't be able to do a lot of things because of uh, my frailty, I guess it was. I don't know how I interpreted it. But uh, when I was when I was young, I would get headaches. I would get debilitating headaches. I would I and and get sick and get strep throat and be down for like a week, right? You know, I'd be batting down for for a while. And I always rem- I always thought I'm never going to be able to do certain things if I'm going to continue to to be this way. Um, thankfully, that changed. It, it seemed to to let up a bit when uh, I finally lost my tonsils. Yes, I lost them. Like. That somebody stole them. Okay, I misplaced my tonsils, um, and that didn't seem to be as big of an issue. Here's a fun fact: I could not, uh, I could not sleep without my socks on, without being, let's say, under the weather. Basically, how I feel this morning. Like I would, I would just be sick or have a sore throat. Something it would be the start of getting sick because I didn't have my socks on, even in the dead of summer. Okay, uh, that was always a deal, and that was the greatest thing. When whenever that happened, I got my tonsils out, and 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 I don't know if it's I don't know if it's mental. I don't know what it is, but I didn't have that issue. I didn't have as many days off, and then even at a certain point, um, there was a point where I was really at a low point in a, a two two thousand seven. Like uh, I I declare it my worst year ever. Maybe I'll talk about it on here sometime, uh, but. Uh, after that, I don't know what it was. It, it was a little bit like I don't know if it was mental. I always attributed it to uh, jumping off of the Mon Wharf uh, every every New Year's Day for a, like four years in a row. I think we did that, and I remember not getting a bad bad illness for those several years until the one year I got a giant gash on my leg and ended up in the hospital two day, two days later. Uh, but anyways, I digress. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> but still, I, I think it is a mentality. And certainly when you're in a job you don't like, you're definitely going to want to feel like, you're, like your body is going to make you not want to be there, uh, I think. Uh, you know, and I, and I think that's something that, that you, can, you can kind of assess. You're like, oh, I'm sick all the time. Ugh. I was like, well, do, do you want to go to work? You know, uh, you know, are you doing something you want? Like as it is, like I, I got up and I got moving and I'm doing something that I'm digging right here. And yeah, my stomach still feels like it wants to turn inside out. But generally, the rest of my body is like, oh, hey, I'm going. I'm energized. Maybe that coffee helped a little bit. And by the way, the coffee on my on my upset stomach is probably not a great idea. But I love it so. Um, so. I don't know, and I don't. I, 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 I've, I've wanted to for a long time start hashtagging Mister Day, No Days Off uh, as I go day to day here uh, with things around here, and maybe, maybe you know, I, I, I felt like doing it as I'm doing these shows on Saturday night or on Sundays when I'm meeting with clients or, or something like that. Because I, I don't know, it, it's like kind of a badge of honor and partly a justification, I think, too. That's like this is okay. I'm, I'm allowed to work this way. You know, I don't have uh, kid, kids and family to worry about too much. My wife is doing this stuff with me half the time. So it's not like I don't see her, even though we do need some downtime. We still need to reestablish that Friday night date night, I think, um, that kind of fell out for a while there. Now it's always kind of the, well, no matter what else is going on, we hooked up here. But for the longest time, we had things. I had jobs on a Friday. I decided not to do the Friday night football games this this season. I just uh, it it just didn't seem worth it for me. Um, and again, that's kind of the assessment of of projects. But it's a whole other topic as well. Maybe maybe that's what we'll get to soon too. Is somebody writing these down because I'm not going to remember all these topics I'm coming up with. But anyways, uh, what do you think? Uh, if if you're into something passionate, are you finding yourself working? Maybe you have to find that weekend time to work uh, as you're starting that freelance as you're starting that new project that you're hoping to supplement or replace your day job whatever it is that you're trying to get out of let me know are you mr or mrs no days off miss no days off Mm -hmm. perhaps let me let me know if you're out there if you got that mentality if you're you're pushing through and, and getting it done and is it worth it or do you find that you just need to sit back and and take a moment and uh, I'm still debating how the rest of my morning is going to go. I have a few line items I want to get done. And uh, I'm, I'm continually assessing, oh, maybe we can do that tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Uh, so uh, this is uh, Mr. No Days Off at Sorotron on the Twitter. Let me know what you think. Please sign up for my newsletter. The creative newsletter is out uh, every Friday. 
uh, thoughts from me or my guest posters. Uh, Will Rutherford of Panel Riot and Wrestling Bam Show did an article about podcasting last week that you can check out. Uh, in the archives there, subscribe at Sorgatron.com or SorgatronMedia.com. Uh, that little pop-up box at the top will uh, get you onto that newsletter as well. Let you know everything going on and hopefully in the future some uh, educational opportunities that we're working on as well and events and all kinds of fun stuff. So until next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.